Hello everyone. I want to give you an introduction how PLM change management is handled in SAP S4HANA. The following functionalities are available in S4HANA on-premise starting with release 2020 FPS1, as well as on cloud systems starting with S4HANA Cloud Edition 2111. In this video, I want to give you an overview of setup and handling of process route templates in the change record. I will first show you some slides and then jump into the system for a live demo. Please note that we have used the latest S4HANA on-premise system, which is currently shipped to our customers. It has the state of S4HANA 2021 FPS0. If you want to use predefined process routes, you need to set up the templates in our app of the Global Process Route Workbench. Here you can create new or maintain existing ones. These templates can be then later used for manual selection on the change record or also for automatically loading. The manual selection I will show you on the second point. This is mainly handled on the process route section of our change records. For sure you will be also able to maintain additional work items on top of the predefined process route templates. To automatically load process routes, a setup in BIF Plus is necessary. In general, we have two options of the automatic template loading. The first one is a process route loading on a status change. The second option is an automatic template loading when adding a change item. Both is set up in BF+. In addition, we also have the possibility to main background tasks in process routes. A background task can, for example, execute a change record status switch. Let's now jump into the system to have a closer look into the process route capabilities. First of all, I will show you how a predefined global process route template is maintained. As just mentioned, this is happening in the global process route workbench app. From here, you already see the global process route templates which are already available in the system. By clicking them, you can have a closer look to the single work items which are assigned to this template. In this example, we see then we have a header with multiple parallel steps assigned, in this case three parallel tasks, as well as a background task in the end. From here we can directly switch into the edit mode and maintain this template. We can add additional sequential tasks, we can add parallel tasks, or we can delete single tasks. Let's for example add an additional sequential task. In this pop-up, you maintain the task. So you set the agent type, which for example, can be a team or a user or a business group. You set the agent ID, you set the activity. As optional, you can also maintain a task duration and also a priority. These templates, what we have here in the app of the global process route templates available, we can later access on the change record. Let's jump into the change record and see how these templates are maintained on the process route section. Therefore, we are accessing the Manage Change Records app. We are opening a change record. We are switching to the process route section. And from here, we have the possibility to load templates. Via the F4 help, we can select the templates which are available in the system. By clicking OK, you see the template, what we just have seen in the app of the Global Process Route Workbench. Also from the Process Route section, we are for sure able to add additional tasks, parallel or sequential steps to the existing Process Route template. This is happening via this plus button on the end of the process route table. After maintaining the task, we can also save a new template out of it. Other functionalities on this process route section is showing you a log with the latest activities and details. We can show here the background tasks by switching the button on. We can refresh the whole process route section. We can also switch to a graphical view of the process route. And in addition, we also have the possibility to maintain notes for every work item, which the user is later seeing in his inbox. 
To make a automatically loading of a process route template available, we maintain this in BIF+. Let's switch into BIF+. As already mentioned in the PowerPoint, we mainly have two options available to automatically load a process route template. The first one is loading a process route template on a switch of a user status. This is maintained in this BIF plus table. Here we say per issue type, so meaning the change record type, per user status, which global process route template needs to get loaded. So in this first example of the change record type S01, when it's coming to user status E8, the global template ID of change record underscore release underscore change gets loaded. The second option to automatically load a global process route template is when adding a change item. This is maintained in the next BIF plus table. The table logic is similar to what we have seen before. On which change record type, for which user status, of which change item type, the process route template ID is loaded. So in the example of the first row, we are saying for the change record type PIC, in the user status E1, when we are adding in E1 our inspection plan, then this global process route template called demo underscore ENSP gets loaded. Last but not least, I also want to show you the possibility of maintaining background task on a process route. Therefore, we're jumping, jumping back to the change record. Back on our example of the beginning, we see here as a la last task, a background task. This background task is executed automatically. So no inbox approval from a user is required in this case. In this case, this background task is automatically executing a status change of the change record. How is this maintained? You can easily insert this background task as a sequential or parallel task in your process route template. On this pop-up, what we have also seen on the global process route workbench, you're maintaining the activity of a status change. Thereafter, you only need to select the service ID, clicking OK, and the background task is added into the process route. Thank you, everyone. I hope I gave you a first overview how process route templates are set up and maintained on the change record. You should now understand how a manually as well as automatically template determination is set.